This video talks about respiratory physiology, specifically with a spirometer. So let's get to the question right away. The question says, a patient's airway pressure is being measured while he's breathing into a spirometer. Which of the following lung volumes would be associated with an airway pressure of positive 30 centimeter of water? And the options are functional residual capacity, minimal volume, residual volume, tidal volume, and total lung capacity. Now the best way to kind of address this question is realizing that they're breathing out a positive pressure. Even though 30 centimeter might not mean anything to you, you at least know that it's a positive pressure. So let's quickly review our lung volumes very, very fast. The mnemonic that I use is LITER, L-I-T-E-R. L for lungs, I for IRV, inspiratory reserve volume, T is tidal volume, ERV, expiratory reserve volume, and at the end we have the residual volume. Now these are not the only lung volumes that I have. I have all the other ones that we have to kind of know. So the entire thing, the four blocks together, is going to make our total lung capacity. The combination of residual volume, and what is residual volume? Residual volume is the volume left in your lungs after maximal expiration, right? You cannot expire it. You cannot push it out of your lungs, even if you tried. So residual volume and expiratory reserve volume, both combination of two of them makes the FRCR, functional residual capacity. This is also, this from here, it is zero, okay? Anything above it is going to be positive, uh, volume. Anything below it is going to be a negative volume. Now then we have uh, our tidal volume plus IRV. Together it's making us the inspiratory capacity. Inspiratory capacity. And then last of all, except the residual volume, if you add all the other volumes, you have the vital capacity. Now let's go back to the question one more time. The question says, uh, the patient's airway pressure is being measured while he's breathing into a spirometer. Which of the following lung volumes would be associated with an airway pressure of positive 30 centimeter water? Now, first they have FRC. So let's look at our FRC. FRC creates a pressure, or sorry, volume of zero. So that would be ruled out. Minimal volume is a volume left in your lungs after your lungs have been completely deflated, but tiny bit of lungs uh, volume is left in your lungs which you kind of cannot get rid of right I mean in the nooks and crannies of your lungs they're just hidden there so that's minimal volume that's only in a in a lung that has been cut out it's not in in vivo obviously it's been cut out and put on a table and deflated and the volume that's left in the lungs is going to be the minimal volume so obviously you can tell that that would be much much lower than um, much much negative even even more negative than residual volume, right? Because it's even probably somewhere around here where you're going to have the minimal volume. Because when you completely deflate your lungs, you also get rid of the residual volume, right? So that's that. And so that won't be the answer choice. When we talk about residual volume, again, it's less than zero. So it won't be the right answer. Then we have tidal volume. Tidal volume is positive and negative, not amounting to a really positive pressure because it's coming down to FRC at the end of the day because you're inspiring and expiring, so there is no net positive or no net negative of volume. So again, tidal volume would be ruled out. Last of all, we have the total lung capacity. That is the only one where we can see that it can create a positive pressure. Okay. Um, so in this case, total lung capacity is the right answer because that's the only one which can create a positive pressure which is being measured in this spirometer.